What is up people, Dusty here, back with more of that Sims 2 action you all seem to enjoy. Now this is Honest Dust, the owner and proprietor of Honest Dust Haberdashery, where he sells knickknacks and such. The store is considered to be a fixture of Pleasant View, and Honest Dust is a beloved member of the community. However, all his customers are blissfully unaware that the quality goods that they've been enjoying at reasonable prices are actually made by his children in a sweatshop up in his attic. See, from the outside looking in, this appeared to be your typical family. Sarah Lee and Davy Boy attended school just like any other kids, and while they could occasionally be spotted helping out around the store when things got hectic or Honest Dust was otherwise occupied, the fact that they seemed to spend most of their time out of sight and out of mind up in their rooms wasn't that unusual considering they were moody teenagers. And yes, I said rooms because that's the story that Honest Dust passed off to anybody who inquired about them. Nobody had any idea that the two were essentially kept in a small prison, or that he pumped them full of coffee so that they could work late in the night and kept them hooked on drugs to ensure their complacency. For all intents and purposes, Sarah Lee and Davy Boy had effectively been transformed into mindless zombies. Each day seemed to bleed into the next, with the weekends being the only real way for them to track the passage of time, as the lack of school ironically actually increased their workload. And of course, despite the fact that his kids were the ones slaving away day after day, it was honest dust who reaped the rewards of their labor. He could often be seen flaunting his wealth and taking advantage of his local celebrity status to hook up with the finest pieces a mature ass in town. Yet despite being trapped in this endless cycle of monotony, there was one lone bright spot for Sarah Lee when her classmate Ivy accompanied her home from school. It would have raised some serious red flags if Sarah Lee had disappeared in the attic and ignored her the whole time, so Honest Dust was essentially forced to give his kids the day off. And if that wasn't enough reason to celebrate, Sarah Lee took advantage of this rare opportunity and quickly hit it off with Ivy. In fact, she let her classmate know that she was interested in being more than just friends and Ivy gladly reciprocated. Now as you can imagine, Honest Dust was not exactly thrilled about this whole development. Despite dressing like a southern preacher, he had no problem if his daughter wanted to live in sin and be a lesbian. After all, that was her business. However, Sarah Lee's enthusiasm for her new relationship would begin to affect her work, which did affect Honest Dust's business and that was simply unacceptable. Eventually everything would come to a head. Sarah Lee had went out for a night of good old fashioned debauchery with Ivy as had become their custom, and she probably would have gotten away with it like she always did, except this night Honest Dust happened to be waiting on some groceries to be dropped off, and he caught her trying to sneak back into the house. Now aware of his daughter's deception, what little trust had existed between Honest Dust and his kids had been shattered, and he became even less lenient with them. Now they weren't even allowed to attend school anymore. In fact, the only times they were even allowed out of their cell was when Honest Dust needed one of them to act as a janitor or take care of some maintenance. Now you'd think that two students suddenly missing like a week of class without any explanation would cause some concern and warrant being looked into, but unfortunately for Sarah Lee and Davy Boy, the state stops giving a fuck about you once you're a teenager, so there'd be no social worker to come and save them from this nightmare. In fact, the only person who did seem to notice their absence was Ivy, who stopped by the haberdashery to ask about Sarah Lee's whereabouts, but Honest Dust managed to put her at ease by telling her that Sarah Lee and Davy Boy were just off visiting some relatives, and even convinced Ivy that one of the bears Sarah Lee had made would make a great gift for when they got back. However, tragically, there would never be any reunion. Forced to survive off sandwiches and cereal, it didn't take long for Sarah Lee and Davy Boy to burn through the mere supplies they'd been left. Wasting away, their pleas for food were often drowned out by the sounds of a bustling store, and being the narcissist that he is, Honest Dust just sort of forgot about them, and by the time he finally remembered, it was too late. Sarah Lee was the first to go. Embracing death with as much grace as possible, she waved goodbye to her brother and then crossed over to the other side. As you'd expect, this hit Davy Boy pretty hard, but don't feel too bad for the guy because he would join her just a few hours later. When Honest Dust finally decides to check in on them and discovers their fate, he's absolutely heartbroken, but he also knows that there's only one thing left to do at this point, and that's to dispose of all the evidence. Hey everybody, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you'll be kept up to date with all my latest content. Or don't, you know, and don't let me tell you how to live your life. As always, thanks for watching. I'm out.